Welcome to Call Center Heaven and Hell. I was wondering if you could help. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Bright Time GG cast. I'm your host, Cern. Better press play there. And I'm going to be casting a nice 2v2 with our heroes S, Felix, and Chungi. Um, they are going to be squaring up against the light blue Zerg Cthulhu and Cthulhu's partner, the purple Protoss Predator. And they seem to be talking about uh, Pokemon because Pokemon is cool. And as we can see, we're just going to do a stock standard start. Although we don't have a gateway yet for S. Felix. I think he's just trying to back her up. No, he's getting his gateway. Late gateway, but we've got Chewie completely stock standard. He's got his build solid. And in the meantime, we do have Predator just going to try and scout in, but I think he's going to get blocked off. No, he manages to get in. S. Felix saying kill that probe, but too late. And Predator's doing a... Oops, we've got a two-gate pressure. Whereas Cthulhu should probably open up that tab there. So Cthulhu's actually gotten a pair of links just to scout out. Looks like he got two pairs. So we can watch the expansion. But Cthulhu's also going to be expanding. And in the meantime, I'm just going to wall off here with the third gateway. So we are going to be looking at three gate robo up for Predator. And for Team Break Time. Team Break Time's actually going to go with some Phoenix play here. So let's just see how we go here. And it does look like Chungi. Marine Marauders. Do we have Marauder Slow? We have just Marauder Slow. So, so he's just got to work on his upgrades. He's keeping his minerals down to minimum, which is pretty good. And it does look S Felix is going to be expanding to the second expansion. I guess just to throw, to throw off Cthulhu. And it does look Predator's actually going to get his. Uh, Observer out, going to be able to scout everything, so he's actually going to see the um, Stargate by S. Felix, but in the meantime, looks like he's actually going to start his harassment now, and he's <laughs> going to kill off two overlords, pretty good, going to kill off three overlords, manages to save um, all of his uh, Phoenix, going to be doing some probe harass, or drone harass I should say, managed to leave one, gets it out of the way. So he did manage to, to uh, I guess, do a lot of damage there, killing off some drones as well as the overlords, and it looks like Cthulhu's going to reposition his spore crawlers just in a more, I guess, a better defensive position. So good on him, he's going to see that and say, oops. And there's also a stalker getting some nice pot shots there, so that's okay, but it looks like he's gone after Predator's undefended base. He's going to try and get on out of there. He's going to, yes, he's going to kill one. He's going to kill two. And that's it. So two. Not as much as he'd like, but who cares. He's doing some damage. And he did manage to spot the expansion. He's going to do some more economic damage. Kill one. Kill two. Kill three. Kill four. And kill five. And he should get on out of there. Now, in the meantime, he's actually started getting some Void Rays, and we do have Chungi trying to push out now with his Marine Marauders. It does look like uh, Cthulhu managed to spot everything, so he knows exactly where they're coming from. And it looks like Cthulhu also seeing those Phoenix there. So Chungi just going to ask, where's he going? He doesn't know where he's going. In the meantime, it looks like Esfield is going to add some additional gateways. Chungi working on, on his upgrades. And it looks like Esfield is going to do what he can to destroy this base. I think he's going to be able to take that one out. But in the meantime, looks like Predator and Cthulhu. Predator's actually sharing control, so Cthulhu's going to be taking care of all his units. And in the meantime, he's going to get rid of... The base will go down, actually, but he, we've got an engagement here. Really big engagement. Let's see how we go. We finally got Stim on the way, and is going to be picking up some of those units just so there's less damage coming out, but it does look like Chunky just doesn't have enough to take care of these um, stalkers. Oh, wait, they might be enough. I think, okay, so barely enough just to get through that. That's pretty good. But S. Felix saying, get back, because we need to we need to expand. And good on S. Felix for actually destroying that expansion, so it does slow down Predator quite a bit, but he does have enough to re-expand again. And it does look Cthulhu not really doing much with his expansion there. So he got a fast expand, but I guess he was hoping to get a nice rush. But unfortunately, these roaches... Ooh, Chuggy, what are you doing? Out of position. Oh, 
no. So I probably should stim on out of there, but it does look like he's going to lose everything there. And that's a shame. But in the meantime, we do have Chungi going to be expanding, so that's good on him. And S. Felix adding some more gateways. I can he actually... Well, he's floating quite a bit of uh, resources there, so I guess good on him for getting the additional... Uh, production facilities, but it does look like we're finally going to get the Econ up. Uh, ten drones, as well as a Hydra Den on the way. And we do have Predator actually going to go for his Robo somewhere, is he? Where's his Robo? No, he doesn't have a Robo. I swear to God, I thought I saw a Robo. But I guess not. I think it was actually from S. Felix's end. Ah, uh, yes, he's got the Robo. Extended Thermal Lance on the way. Colossus on the way. Way, I think. Yep, he's got it on the way. Still has his Phoenix, so these Phoenix have actually lasted a fair bit. They're probably going to do some more harass. And, but it does look like Cthulhu is actually prepared for this, so I think the Phoenix days are numbered because every base is actually covered. And looks like Esfilic is going to be doing some sneaky Void Ray action. I think he's just going to get rid of that one pile on there because every bit helps. Whereas Chungi looks like he's going to be expanding. And of course on the 14 minute mark, I'm not too sure if uh, this is normal. Because I don't really play that much. And it does look like Cthulhu, I don't think he spotted that. He didn't spot the SCV train, but it does look like he is going to be able to saturate this. Maybe change it into an orbital as well. And in the meantime, S Felix tried to poke in, but it does look like Cthulhu and Predator, they are prepared. So here's S Felix. This might actually will get as much action as we'll get for the next few minutes. So let's just enjoy that. Powering up. So fully charged Void Ray. Gonna take care take care of that uh, pylon and s saying say Kenny Man. Uh, don't understand. Oh, okay. So there must have been some harass there. And it's like all of the SCVs. No, the so SCVs managed to get out there. And let's see, what else do we have going on? We've got nothing going on anymore. And looks like Cthulhu gonna get some more uh, overlords just to get some more supplies. So it's actually pretty low for a Zerg. 76. What's, what's a predator on? 56. Yeah, this is a really low, low playing game, but no matter. Ooh, manages to spot one. Ah, oh, he's gonna need to back out. He's gonna need to back out. Very smart move. Does take some hull damage, but that's okay. And it looks like Predator finally going to get his expansions up and running again, hopefully. But of course, in the meantime, it's like S Felix has teched up to Colossi, has the 1 1 ups, also going to chrono boost some um, Void Rays out. And we've also got weapons level 2 on the way as well. So, so far, so good. He's actually floating quite a bit of minerals, maybe just warp in a few zealots there. Just to, I guess, support his little uh, death ball there, but. In the meantime, it does like Chung is actually going to go out on his own. He probably should not. Probably just wait until S. Felix is ready. And no, it looks like he's actually going to go for it. And Cthulhu knows exactly what's coming. He's prepared. He's going to engage. So S. Felix saying, don't attack. A bit late. But it needs to get out of there. Ooh, looks like Cthulhu does have blink. Or Predator has blink. And S. Felix, like, he's getting a bit annoyed. But I think, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chung is just a little uh, eager to uh, make something happen here. So, it is a very slow paced game, but of course, very methodical by S. Felix. Gonna slow pick them out. S. Felix saying, don't attack without me. Well, he does have this giant death ball with four colossus and a fifth one on the way. So, that's really good by S. Felix. Getting the 2 2 ups. And looks like Chung is actually gonna continue with his production, which is really good non-stop production and I'm not too sure who's actually going to win this but it does look like Team Break Time's got the edge in terms of numbers. Do we have the edge in terms of income? And unfortunately uh, I guess we're uh, on par I guess. It does look like um, Cthulhu has... wait a sec, Predator's only got 23 harvesters? That's 23 probes. He's gonna need way more just to keep up here. I don't know how he's managing to get this army, but uh, I guess he is managing. He's managing quite well. He's going to lose this one, Phoenix. Is he 1 HP? Oof. He's going to need to head on home. He does have full hell. Uh, I guess a... Uh, 
was going to say. He had uh, full energy there, but he ended up dying anyway. And Espy is going to lose a second Phoenix. Yes, he does. But it does look Espy is going to be getting out the Void Red, but of course, unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. And it looks like one more Phoenix survives. And Predator with his Stalkers. It looks like Cthulhu is actually doing the uh, controlling. Let us take a look at the APM tab. Yes, it does look like Predator doing all the actions here. And Proto looks like he's just taking it easy. I don't think he minds. He doesn't really... He's just taking it easy, and it does look like S Felix doing the most APMs at the moment. Get back here. Looks like we've got a huge swell here. Chewing actually used stimming there. All of his units, but unfortunately not doing any damage while on stim. And looks like he's going to try again. Is he going to stim again? He probably should try to stim that again. But, of course, with extended Thermal Lance, I think SP is going to be able to chow down all these. And, yeah, it looks like the units are actually plummeting. Uh, Chewing is actually down to just 62 supply. We've got Tulu on 94, and we've got, oh, we've got Predator on 24. I'm assuming that's drones. And, no. Nine pro... Oh, this guy... I'm pretty sure Predator is actually gone. And in the meantime, ooh, we've got some S Felix Zealots going to do some flank attack. Going to get this around, but no, he's actually going to go for the... No, there we go, we've got the flank attack going. A lot of charge lots with the 2-2 upgrades. That does look like Predator just leads the game. Tulu also leads the game, so that's GG. Oh, slow pace at the start, but of course towards the end, I think... Team Break Time had the upgrade advantage. They had the numbers as well. And it does look like it was lucky that S. Felix entering had that extra base just to get that extra economy up. Managed to deny Predator's um, expansion here, but then again, he didn't really produce much, much off this. I mean, not many probes. The numbers was always low. Whereas Cthulhu, he did have the numbers. Um, it took him a while to saturate the expansion, but of course... Um, I guess he didn't have enough in terms of um, an army just to hold them off. He was working too defensively. Wasn't able to make any harassment. I mean, with S. Felix teching up, as well as with the upgrades, and Chungi just continuing to barrel down with the Marine Marauders, uh, Cthulhu couldn't do anything but wait because he just didn't have anything to harass. But, uh, yeah, I guess well done by Team Break Time. I should always be supporting my own team, so... Team break time for the win. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, take it easy.